What's up, everybody? Technically speaking, this is the third video that I'm recording today. I just finished dinner. Chinese. I'll set that aside. So far today, I've recorded a video on how to assemble, or maybe not necessarily how to assemble, but it is me assembling and then showing how to utilize this DIY oscilloscope and how it stands up to a Rigel DS1054Z. Also did a quick video for beginners with soldering on how to assemble this little kit called the Electronic Decision Maker Kit. So these two things aside, there is one final electronics project that I'd really like to take part in tonight. That is this box. This is the mini music Tesla coil kit made in Cheyenne, which I'm pretty sure is uh, someone misspelled China. I'm going to remove the box condom and open it up. Please insert all corresponding parts before welding. Well, I guess you could call it welding. I'm gonna turn the iron on. Weller, excellent stuff. I like this. Make sure to strip the coating of the coil water wire prior to soldering. I guess there are some people that wouldn't think of that. So this has some warnings on it. Please be careful with the flame. Connect the phone to use as a small volume speaker. Ignite the 45 watt 220 volt energy saving lamp. If the red light does not come on, check your coil wire connection. Follow the steps to assemble the weld patiently. If there are missing parts and welding problems, please contact the seller to provide quality after sales service. This product supports unconditional return. Please contact the seller if you have any questions. Please do not feel free to leave a bad review. We will do better based on your valuable opinions. So basically what they're saying is don't leave a bad review. Oh well. I'm very pleased with this kit right now. I've, I've got to say. The grammar is garbage, but who cares about grammar? So, one thing I did notice is there are no directions, which isn't the biggest deal. Thermal grease, I'm assuming that'll be useful. This appears to be hot glue, but uh, doesn't exactly tell you how to use it or what the purpose of it is. It just says at some point, please be careful with the flame. And I'm assuming that's because this could potentially set something on fire. Here's what's interesting to me. This came with a, a little display. I don't think this was supposed to be in this box. I think this is an accidental inclusion. Okay, well, I mean, I'm not gonna complain too much. That would be the girlfriend. So, just the design of this whole thing is very interesting to me. This will be the yet another video where I say this. I am admittedly not the greatest with resistor values. I'm relatively new to the uh, hobby electronics game. I have always been good at hacking things together as necessary, but I will be the first to admit I never took the time to truly learn the ins and the outs. I'm just very intuitive. This circuit board just soaks up solder. This is excellent. This is how I wish every board was ever. This is great. So what I'm also coming to find is this doesn't exactly have much to it. So my experience is usually easier to start. Somewhere right around. So now I've got the resistors installed. I've got the audio input installed. I've got the DC input of 15 to 24 volts, which let's see if my test lead, where did my test lead go? Does this fit? Perfect, because that's what benchtop power supplies are for. BD243C gets to go in here, but first, gets to be mated with a heat sink loosely. You don't want to tighten it down until it's 
all soldered into place. You will notice that I didn't use thermal paste, and I know I will get comments for that. The reality is I bought this just for the video. And um, if I'm completely honest, after this video is done, I may never even turn this thing on again. And for this video, it'll only be running for, you know, a minute or two, something like that, which is fine. <laughs> This is the third video in a row where I don't even have a Phillips head, and I just keep using a flat head instead. There we go. All three are done. And now, I will glob it. Believe it or not, what I'm doing is actually working. Does it clarify? Okay, so LED 1 should be red and LED 2 should be clear. The entire thing is soldered up except for This is great because what I have now is a danger thing. That's just it's just a danger tube. There is nothing reasonably safe about this entire thing. At all. It kinda scares me. So, knowing that it scares me, I um uh, I'm gonna plug it in. This was an oversight on my part. Okay, let's set the power supply to 15. Okay, well. I can't tell if this is doing anything useful whatsoever, if I'm completely honest. Oh. This should be an easy one to fix. Just need to do a little desoldering. I'm really hoping I didn't damage this thing. How am I going to do this? I'm going to do this the way no one should ever do this. I fluxed it. I'm gonna get a little bit of solder on the tip and then come at it over here. Now it is properly soldered. So now, in theory, I wanna move everything away from it that can conduct. Whenever I turn it on, the ceiling fan in my room that I'm currently in sounds different. Kind of terrifying. So I guess we should try sending it audio. I don't know what I'm going to send it audio with, though. Give me a second. I think I have an iPad. That's terrifying. Okay, so here's what I've come to find. This device is wreaking havoc in everything around here in terms of interference. Absolutely wreaking havoc in everything. When I had this on a moment ago, what this thing did was undeniably scary. Because I wasn't hearing the music, which was an Imagine Dragons song. It wasn't playing through here. My speakers on my computer were inducting whatever frequencies were coming off of here. Yeah, I'm not turning this thing on again. And I'm not entirely sure I recommend you buy it. I don't want to get too close to it because I have a feeling that it can potentially burn or shock you. And the interference that it is causing is mind-blowing. Like, my computer, the fans on the computer sound horrible. The ceiling fans sound horrible. You can even hear the tone of the fan, of the blower fan in the air conditioner change. Just from energizing this thing with 18 volts DC. And it draws a quarter of an amp. It's pulling 4.17 watts. I'm gonna call this one a bad idea. And yes, I know it's not glued down, but nothing is sh shorting electrically. It's just kind of flopping about, but... Actually, when I turn this on, my battery backup under my desk starts buzzing. I don't recommend this product. Yeah, this product, d buy it at your own risk. I, I can't recommend this one. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, well, let me know what you want to see. You know, 
I'll be honest, I've got friends on the hunt for things on Amazon, just electronics kits. My girlfriend, other friends of mine, I've just been like, tell me what you want me to build and I will build it. So this goes for everyone. Tell me what you would like me to build and I will build it. On that note, have a good one. See ya.